So we are about to finish off the animation series with some Kinect motion capture. But before we do, some of you have expressed the urgent need to know how to export your animations to Unity. So for those new programmers who just need a nudge in the right direction to get started, or for those of you who just want to know what the code to control your character looks like, this week is for you. Now I do want to clarify that this is separate from the game programming tutorial series that the patrons are saving up to fund for you guys. When we reach a thousand on Patreon, I will devote myself to creating a full completely free game programming tutorial series where I teach you everything you need to go from someone who's never touched a keyboard before in their life to someone that knows how to create all the code you need to complete a full game project. It'll probably be a little while till we get there but it's definitely in the works and coming up so I hope you look forward to it. In the meanwhile before we uh, export to Unity I think it's important that we all start on the same page. So today I'm gonna walk you through the process of downloading Unity and getting it ready on your computer. And at the end of the video I have a little challenge for those of you who are more advanced. Alright, let's do this. Go to the link in the description and download the installer. Once it's done, run the software, agree to everything, and install the hub. Create a new account, say yes to everything, and if you have a specific game in mind, pick that. Otherwise just go with 3D template. Doesn't really matter, you can always change this later, so just pick one. Launch the software, and you will see this beautiful screen. This is where the magic happens. This software right here is what's going to bring your character in in your world to life. Unity is my favorite software in the entire world, so I am mega hyped to finally introduce her to you now. Okay, once you're here, and right click to create a new folder called characters. And this is where we are going to be exporting all of your Blender characters. Alright, you're ready. In the next video, I will show you how to export your character and animation from Blender to Unity. But before I do, I have a challenge for you advanced users. I have spent the last 48 hours trying to get Blender to successfully export all of our actions from Blender blended to Unity in FBX format. But Blender never seems to export all of our actions properly. It always forgets to transfer a few, and in many cases, 80% of our actions end up missing by the time they get to Unity. Now I have done a lot of looking around and visited every forum I could think of, and it looks like this has been a problem for many people for quite some time. No one on the Blender Stack Exchange seems to be able to figure it out either. Our best theory was that any action with keyframes belonging to bones that were deleted or renamed were messing up the transfer, but even after deleting all of those, the problem still persists. Now I have actually found a workaround. There is one method that always successfully gets all the animations from Blender to Unity, but it's very brute force and involves putting all of your animations in a single timeline, which clearly isn't ideal, but it's the only method I've found that reliably transfers all of your animations 99% of the time. That being said, I'd rather we find a way to get the actions to just transfer properly in order to spare everyone the agony of trying to paste all of their animations in a single timeline. But unless we can find a solution that works 99% of the time without problems or data loss, you are not going to see me advertising it here on this channel. And so far, the success rate for exporting all of my actions intact in any other way has been zero. Now I'm always open to the possibility that maybe I messed up. Maybe there's something I just overlooked and the solution could just be a checkbox that I can't seem to find or a button that I forgot to press. But so far, I haven't been able to find it and neither has anyone else on the Blender Stack Exchange. So today, in the description, you will find an example file of my rig that contains a few dummy animations. And if anyone can find a way to get all the actions to successfully show up as an FBX file in Unity, if you leave a comment down below on how you did it step by step, and if I can replicate your solution on my end to fix things, I will read three sentences of your choosing in my voice. And I will love you forever and share that information in the next tutorial. And give you a shout out for your valiant efforts. So for those of you daring enough to attack this problem, have at it and good luck. You have 24 hours to solve the problem. Anyway, I hope you look forward to this week. This is where things start to come to life. All of the animations that we've been working on this whole time will finally come together. And this will actually be my first time seeing X in action too. So I hope you're as hyped as I am. Anyways, as always, hope you have a fantastic day. Now see you.